Welcome back, Steam fans. Today we're here in North Carolina with Amy with Fox Farm and Forage to show you how to level up your mushroom substrate steaming operation. Stay tuned. To mass produce mushrooms, you must replicate what Mother Nature does in small ecosystems on a large scale. So growing mushrooms is multifaceted. First and foremost, you gotta start with substrate selection. That is critical. And how you actually prep that substrate, which, hello, the Sue Steam Flow, thank you very much, which saves my bacon on the daily. But not only do you have substrate selection, you have proper inoculation under a very clean environment, lots of cleanliness going on in here. And also you gotta wait and watch these beauties grow and inoculate, and then finally get, you know, to fruit them and put them in your fruiting chambers and harvest. Proper preparation of your substrate is absolutely vital to success. It must be free of competing mold and bacteria before inoculation. We sure don't want no STDs, that's four transmitted diseases. <laughs> when you're starting out as a mushroom farmer, you don't typically just start out with this bad boy right here. You'll start out with something smaller, maybe a little homemade MacGyver you know, situation such as this. But as your operation grows and increases, you need to handle substrate. You're certainly not gonna be able to produce the steam needed with a little tiny barrel like this. You gotta level up, baby, and get you a steam flow if you wanna play with the big boys. Top substrate producers are moving away from barrel steamers and complicated autoclaves to large volume atmospheric steaming to increase production capacity. Low pressure, high volume steam generators like this one behind me are becoming the new industry standard for atmospheric steaming and high volume substrate producers. By combining a Sioux steam generator with a shipping container, producers are able to bring massive quantities of substrate blocks up to atmospheric steaming temperatures of 212 degrees. Although it looks complicated, the Sioux steam flow is very simple to operate. Just simply plug it into a standard outlet, attach a garden hose water connection, a little fuel, and turn the switch. You'll be steaming in about 10 minutes. It's awesome possum. I mean, and that's all I deal with. If it ain't quality, I don't deal. From, I don't know, from the moment I decided to get one of these bad boys, I started with doing a little bit of research and quickly discovered there weren't a whole lot of viable options. And what I mean by that is stuff that I would consider effective that would actually work. Came across this, I don't remember how long it was. I bought my first one, but it's been a hot minute, but there's just no comparison. I mean, there's just nothing out there that works like this. I mean, we were talking earlier about barrel steamers, no offense to the ones that are out there, but you're limiting, you're so limiting. Whereas with these guys, I can level up. I can say, well, you know what, today I feel like staying maybe 300 blocks, maybe I'm gonna do a thousand. I don't know, I'm feeling kind of wild. But if I have, you know, a very limiting barrel steamer, I can't do that. So to me, this is just kind of like a no-brainer. We hope you've enjoyed this quick look at mushroom substrate steaming. If you're interested in how to level up your operation, check out our website in the link below. Thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs>